Abbot is a walking church. It should provide absolute defense. And yet somehow it got all torn up. How could you? Hmm? Magic has never seemed like any more than a fairy tale to me. And I don't put much stock in the idea of a magical society. But you, you look human enough. Don't you know the difference between right and wrong? A little girl comes here for her hood. You and your friends hunt her down like a dog and do this to her? Is your soul so utterly corrupt you can't understand how wrong what you've done is? If you're finished with your lecture, could you please step aside? I'm here for that. For that? Well, those to be accurate. The grimoires. The 103,000 very important volumes Young Index carries with her everywhere. You really should be more careful. Those books can be extremely dangerous. Reading so much as a single volume would cripple a boy such as yourself. Look, I'm tired of being screwed with. Where are these supposed books? They're right there, next to you, inside her head. <gasps> Index is one of the few people with a photographic memory. She only has to see something once and it's memorized word for word inside her head. Essentially, her brain's a library. The grimoires are locked safely in places around the world, but she's read them all and stored their contents in her mind. But as she herself doesn't have the power to conjure magic, she remains harmless. As I've already told you, though, the volumes that she carries are a bit dangerous. So I'm here. We had to locate her so we could take charge of the grimoires. We wouldn't want them to fall into the wrong hands. Take charge? That's right. I'm here to take her. Get it? Doesn't matter how honest and loyal she is. Anyone can be broken if tortured for long enough. <laughs> Think of this poor girl in the hands of people who do anything to know what she knows. Breaks your heart, doesn't it? Why, you? Who do you think you are? I'm Style Magnus. At least that's one of my names. But for our current purposes, I'm Fortis 931. The former actually translates to Mighty One, but its etymology doesn't matter. I've said my magic name. Do you know what that means? We sorcerers don't generally give out our magic names. Those names serve to limit our power. But when they're spoken to another, that limitation vanishes. I spoke my name to you. Now you understand the significance of that. Among my kind, they're known as killer names. So... Flames. <laughs> This magic? It's so strong. Will my power work against something like this? I know it can cancel out supernatural Esper powers. But this? I've never seen anything like it before. Who knows what will happen?